viewers, I appreciate you watching. Today I'm headed out in the KWB 100 to lift a loaded hopper bottom that has sunk down in the ground and they can't get their tractor back under. We're, we're headed out here now and I'll be on scene here in just a few minutes. And, uh, hopefully we'll be able to get them picked up, get some blocks of wood or something up under it. A lot of y'all know uh, hopper bottoms, there's not a whole lot to hook to on, on them. But hopefully we'll be able to uh, find something sturdy enough. They say it's about 50,000 pounds. I'm not sure. So, and a lot of these old hopper bottoms, they're not in the best of shape on top of that. So we'll get out here and see what we got. Hopefully get them picked up get them back on the way. Hope you enjoy the video. Okay, viewers. Uh, as you can see what we got here. But uh, I've already been working a little bit on it. My game plan is I got two 5H chains running under the kingpin plate of the front of the trailer. Um, the kingpin plate stops about right here. So there's not a whole lot of room to work with. But I'm gonna put these big timbers in here. You might can see a little better up under there. There ain't a whole lot to work with. So to keep from bending the trailer right here, we're gonna let the wood support these 5H chains get it picked up and then get the truck halfway under it and then hopefully crank the landing gear down put some boards under it to help support it so we can finish uh getting it lifted up but i got to wait on joe to come from columbia and i got to get a little bit further over so we'll be right back with you as soon as he gets here just trying to get everything rigged and try not to damage the man's trailer any more than it's already damaged. Uh, weight wise, I could pick it up, but I'm scared I'll crush the front, the step, or any of that other stuff. And then once I get it up, I won't be able to do nothing with it besides put boards under it. And as heavy as it is, I don't want to take that chance on this, the ground that's on. They usually don't drop trailers here, so. But uh, we'll be right back with you in just a minute. You know, viewers, I think that's our, our best bet. Um, you know, the guy's already got a damaged trailer. And the worst thing, you know, we don't want to do any more damage than it's already done to the unit. And, you know, our goal is to, you know, just uh, pick it up. And the damage is already there. Hopefully that's all it gets done. But I know this hopper on the front, it's got substantial damage. You see it's buckled and creased and you know, hopefully it's going to keep the product in till we can get it up and then they can get it unloaded and get it over to Mr. Uh, Mr. Denny over at uh, the trailer shop. We've seen some of our videos over there at Mr. Denny's unloading the press and moving a hopper bottom in the shop for him. But like I said, the main goal is to do no more damage than it's already done to the trailer and uh, safely get it hooked up and get, it, get a tractor under it. All right, viewers, I, I know while I'm waiting on Joe, just been contemplating and uh, talked with Joe and I think we're gonna back up and go with the uh, angle iron there instead of the wood so it can uh kind of lock into the side of the trailer and keep from twisting or or shifting so uh 
we're gonna go with the angle line i think that'll distribute enough weight where we won't have to uh worry about the blocks of wood and then uh <clears throat> just waiting on joe so when he gets here we'll get it lifted Hey, Joe. If, see if, um, Seem better. It's better. Okay. Mine's still flat. All right. I think you need to come out more. That's the problem. Because you're pulling out at an angle with it. I'm trying to keep my snatch blocks outside the trailer. Right. Yeah, more slack in that chain. How about if we put a um a block of wood in there? Yeah. Put it right where the uh, angle is. Game plan? Yes, sir. We're gonna lift it up, get your trailer on it, then we're gonna have to break this first cable out of the way. Okay. And then we're gonna put it on the frame, right? Just get yes. a little bit of the frame up on it. Just, okay. just up for a safety. Just stop me, and I'll, I'll lift it. Just watch him. You ready, Joe?
Let's take this cable out. Let him come on back. Go, Tess. Okay, viewers, kind of went just like we planned. Hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to comment, like, share. And if you like our content and channel, please subscribe. As always, stay safe out there, and we'll catch you on the next one.